Okay, we're back for one more problem of fun. It says a student collected and graphed the data for the titration of 50.0 milliliters of a sodium hydroxide solution of unknown concentration with a standardized 0.10 molar hydrochloric acid solution. Based on the information in the graph above, boom, what was the concentration of the sodium hydroxide solution? Okay, so we are looking for the concentration of sodium hydroxide. So as I think about concentration, I always come back to my concentration equation for molarity, which is moles per liter. I know that the original volume of sodium hydroxide used was 0.0500 liters. Again, I've just converted my 50 milliliters into liters, but I don't know how many moles were in that 50 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. As I think about the other information I'm given here, I'm once again going to use my molarity equation. Molarity equals moles per liter. This time, I know the concentration of my standardized acid solution, 0.10 molar, and I know what volume of HCl I needed to reach the equivalence point. It's not expressly given to me in the problem, but as I look at my graph, the equivalence point is gonna occur at pH of seven for a strong acid and a strong base. And what this means is that I must have used 25 milliliters or 0 0.0250 liters of HCl. A quick trip to my calculator or your brain indicates that I have 0.0025 moles of HCl. That is how many moles of HCl were in the 25 milliliters of 0.1 molar HCl that I used. Now, in order to determine how many moles of NaOH reacted with that 0.025 moles of HCl, I need a balanced chemical equation to see the stoichiometric relationship. So HCl reacts with NaOH. It's a neutralization reaction. We're gonna form water and sodium chloride. A quick scan lets me know that this is already balanced. So the ratio of everything is one to one, which means that if I have 0 0.0025 moles of HCl, I'm also gonna have 0 0.0025 moles of NaOH because the ratio in the balanced chemical equation is one to one. So I plug that back into my original molarity calculation. A quick trip to my calculator indicates that my concentration is 0 0.05 molar. Again, take a moment to think about this. The balanced chemical equation indicates for every one mole of HCl, I need a mole of NaOH, or it's a one-to-one -one mole ratio. Notice I use half the volume of my HCl solution compared to my sodium hydroxide solution. Therefore, the sodium hydroxide solution must be half as concentrated as the HCl solution. Boom, and we're done.